This is Thule 7602 Aeroblade Edge Fixed Point and Flush Rail Crossbar. In the upcoming video, we'll demonstrate how to set up, install, and operate the new Edge Fixed Point and Flush Rail Bar roof rack. When setting up your Thule Edge Crossbar, start by setting up your Thule Fit Kit that applies to your vehicle by inserting the metal attachment bracket into the rubber base pad. Once you have the metal bracket inserted into the rubber base pad, you'll need to attach the base pad to the foot. This is easily done by lining up the holes on the foot with the holes on the metal bracket. The foot has two configurations depending on your vehicle type and fit kit. Two outer holes or one single hole in the center. Determine which configuration your fit kit requires using the instruction manual and loosely tighten the bolts to attach the rubber base pad. Note each fit kit will be slightly different depending on your vehicle and whether or not you have fixed points or flush rails. The feet are adjustable by loosening the silver allen bolt in the center of the crossbar which allows the crossbar to slide in and out of the foot housing. To prevent the crossbar from sliding in the foot, simply tighten the bolt. Note this is just a demonstration on what the function of this bolt does. You won't want to tighten this bolt until you have the rack on your vehicle so that you can adjust the feet according to your vehicle's mounting points. Now we're going to demonstrate how to install the Thule Edge crossbar onto a 2012 Mazda 3 5 door. Remove the Mazda fixed point covers to expose the fixed point locations. The Thule fit kit provides four bolts that need to be screwed into the fixed point locations. Tightening these bolts as much as possible by hand is recommended to prevent any cross threading. Then slide a barrel sleeve over the bolt and finish tightening the bolt with the Thule's provided Allen wrench. Repeat this procedure on all four fixed point locations. After the fixed point bolts are fastened, insert the bolt through the hole in the middle of the rubber base pad and adjust the pad so it's properly aligned. Then place a washer and tighten a barrel nut to secure the foot in place. Next make sure that you have your rubber base pad attachment points fully tightened as well. With the foot securely fastened, you'll want to measure your crossbar so you have equal crossbar length in each foot, then tighten the silver bolt to secure the crossbar in place. Inserting the rubber strip into the channel will help eliminate any wind noise that's created by the open channel. This is done by simply pressing the strip into place. If you have any accessories that utilize the channel, you'll have to custom cut the strip to accommodate your accessories. To complete the installation, place the lock cover onto the foot and use the plastic plug to secure the cover in place. Locks are not included with the rack, so if you purchase lock cores separately, install the lock core in place of the plastic plug and then you'll lock the crossbar to your vehicle. This is Thule's newly designed flush edge crossbar for vehicles with fixed points and flush rails. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us at 1-800-272-5362.